And good evening, folks. Welcome to another evening of Blood Bowl. We are all set to go. Yeah, looks like we are all there. Right, we have round one in the Tiki Hut League. So this is a new one for us. Uh, in fact, it's pretty much a new one for everyone, I think, in this season. So we have gone for humans out tonight. We're up against Norse. We have, let's have a look. We have a Yeti, two Ulfs, and Lyman up to 11. Three rerolls and an apple. Plus an extra fat factor to squeeze the up to the fourth million. Interesting choice. No blitzers, no uh, runners. Uh, we have a ticket, so let's just jump in and we'll use it. We'll accept our ticket. So we are pretty much on time. We're just a couple of minutes early. So let's have a look at... Uh, We've seen this team, let's have a look at our team, uh, my team, because we've gone for a slightly unusual build. We've gone for four blitzers, four catches, one thrower, two linemen, and three rerolls, 960. So that's going to put us in a, in a funny-ish position. Uh, I think we will spend, yeah, we will pick up a babe here, and... 10k off from our bank to get that because being Norse we're going to take quite a few blocks and I think we'll leave it at that. So our plan here is to score as often as possible. If we can get two or three touchdowns ideally we're looking to level catches quickly get them to one or two skills uh, hopefully the blitzers will pick some SPP up naturally through blocks and then we can focus on them later once we've got Blodge, probably Blodge sidestep, maybe some diving tackle on the uh, catches. So let's just jump into the game and I'll see you there. Right, let's, why don't we say hello to our opponent here. There we go, and... Right, so this is our league commissioner who is also streaming tonight, I believe. And he's going to choose the um, good luck. Good luck with the stream. I'll be doing second match. But if you're still around, I'll tune in. Right, we're on the defensive. So, we can either, and this is interesting, oh, we're playing too many turns. Unusual for a league, well, that's okay, we can deal with that. Uh, we're going to be, we have to put someone on the line, we have to put one of our blitzers on the line because we don't have enough linemen for the line otherwise and I think we'll leave the others free like that are tempting or we are kind of tempted here to actually run the um, what am I thinking here uh, run the blitzers on the LOS but he's going to achieve two dice without too much bother. We have the claw to worry about, so I think we'll put our lineman up. Try and protect these guys. Right, let's... We'll put our catches actually out. And protect our thrower here. Right, leave it at that. And let's see. So he's going to, we've got the Frenzy to worry about, which means this is a little risky for us. Uh, frenzy on the Strength 4 and on the Yeti as well. So surfing is possible here. Uh, so we would have been better, I think, with a central setup. Uh, but we are kind of hoping for a perfect defensive here so we can reposition. And we have three real rolls apiece. And the Norse have the fame. Uh, safe square because obviously rookie teams are so no kick to start with and both teams lose a turn that's okay shallow kick mm, good and bad depends on the pickup 
If the pickup is a fluff, then a shallow kick is very good for us. We'll see how this plays out and then react accordingly. Norse is a fragile team that has the potential to actually decimate us, well, decimate every team uh, with their abundance of block, and in this case, frenzy. Early pickup uh, works, so that's fine, doesn't draw out the reroll. Uh, given the positioning of these three, he could have left the block to later on. And we're not going to see any surfing action here. So we aren't punished for our potentially poor choice of setup. And he'll also get three dice into three dice with the Yeti. So that poor Blitzer might be in a spot of bother. Claw's going to turn him to armor seven, but oof, only just, but we're okay. Thankfully, he hasn't got mighty blow yet. Well, we've still got a blitz to see. Uh, likely he'll blitz into block, but he doesn't have to do. One, two, three, four, five, six. They could blitz in the catch of this side. Well, chances are he'll blitz over here. Or not blitz at all. Only got this guy left, so no blitz. But I'm kind of okay with that. Uh, right, what do we do here? Well, I think, given this, I think we're going to squeeze the Norse. Try and force them right up against the sidelines. Hopefully that will free us from having to worry about their guard surfing us, whilst leaving us free to surf them. We're going to do that by having a catcher in there. I'm going to blitz this guy. And then... That leaves you there, Rich, you can probably pull back and pull back in here and swing around there. So that leaves, let's put a blitzer in there. Back him up with the catcher. You three are probably going to stay where you are, which means you two come in there. If he wants to swing around, we can really outpace him here, which is the beauty of this team, is the sheer speed we bring to the party. If we stand those guys up, they're going to get uh, blocked. So we might, well, we will be trying to dodge that. Uh, just a push, that's fine for us. Uh, being this close to the sideline is a little bit risky, so... I don't like it, but I think we're actually going to stand these three up. Which means we don't need to fear the Frenzy Blitz there. Uh, let's bring you into the centre there. Like that. And then, let's see. So, no damage to either side so far. Okay, just a push, and this is two dice into two dice. And that's just a push. So that's a block we can take next turn. Interesting choice to bring that in first. Doesn't affect any of the play here. Yeah, blitz the catcher, gets himself two dice, gets himself the pow. And we're okay. Okay, chooses to follow up, so gives away another block there. Which actually is a surfable position. Gives away a block here. So this is going to be a very contacted game. We have the option to uh, take some... Oh, to potentially dish out our own fair share of blocks. Um, and the armor seven, it could hold. It might not, though. Nice placement there to take out the various assists before that uh, block. And he is wild animal, so rather than really stupid, he gets his block. And injures our blitzer. 
not what we were hoping for. Badly hurt, can't do anything about it. So we lose a blitzer early on. And it is points for the Yeti. Yeah, that would be a little bit cheeky. Reroll in hand. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I can blitz in the back of there if we decide to push round. Might be a good play. Uh, you're going to be standing up. You get yourself two dice there and then open up options here. So I think we'll be taking that. Put you in there. We'll be staying. Okay. And now I can either put a player in there and then we take two dice. Can't surf anyone here. I do quite like the idea of coming in and hitting this guy here, but it's going to leave me a bit open over here. I think we're going to put the, cat, the thrower in there to open up two dice with this lineman. I can't really stand you up, so you're going to stand it in. Just a push, and... We will push you backwards. Like that. So that is two dice for the blitz there to get the catch back. And I think that is the play. We will take that. And we'll now take two dice, not into block. And I can take another block there. you stay. Put a catcher in there. We can get two dice with block. Let's do this to get our catcher back. And we'll take the pow, bring you down in the centre there, and stay. Okay, we don't really want to be there, but we are happy to be there. Can't really surf me from that position. And if you happen to stand in there, We get two dice here with block, which works. That puts down both strength fours. We'll stay because we don't want to give away the free block. And we'll put the catcher in here to work for, for us. And there we go. Now that means we have given away no blocks. We managed to clear everyone off. So only the blitz. And if he stands his various players up, then he has given back those blocks and yet has to blitz with the beast uh, just to give the best chance of activating him. Does it? Manage to hit our second blitzer. Do we lose another one? Not this time. He has taken care of most of my assists though. So we're going to have to work out how to deal with all of these. And see what he does with the ball carry. He's more than happy to base us up here. And we haven't got a shot on the ball just yet. So we could do with uh, chipping a Norseman here somewhere. Because we're a little light on players right now. So we get two dice there. We can get two dice there and get one dice uphill on the ball. Sorry, one dice uphill. Two dice uphill on the ball, which is probably not the right play, but it's an option. What we will do here is this and follow. Mm, do we follow now? I still think we follow this. Can't get the various assists I need in there. What we do have is not a lot of anything. So I don't really like the idea of two dice uphill there. Can't get the assists I need in here. I can stand you up and get one dice in there. Uh, no, that's a catcher. It would be uphill. We get one dice with block. As it. We either risk some dodges, or 
Can't get an assist in there. Can't get an assist for that. So let's try that. That'll work. Put you in there. And stay. Okay, a stun is a good place to start. It does give us a numbers for one turn. That's still not going to be much use. That's now one dice. That's still uphill. Can't easily get you out. I'll have to throw a reroll at that. Don't really want the skull. Don't really want that, but we've got it. So, bit of bother now for us. Uh, the Norse are going to be able to take away lots of blocks. He's put us in a rough spot. Uh, our only other option there was to risk the dodges to get people out. Okay, forces the chain push. Forces the potential the surf. You know, we are going to feel the lack of the ogre, I think, in this matchup. Interesting choices, just the one dice. Pays off. We lose another blitzer. Uh, looks like he's going to be okay. We will see him back. But he's got various blocks in here to work with. Yeah, we're okay. And that's just a push. Uh, it's going to be into two dice because of the tackle zones. And that's a turnover without a reroll. And it's a power with. Okay, can he get his ball carrier through? Pretty much, yes he can. So we are really going to be pushed here. Not a lot of players to work with. We've got a catcher back here that's free. Nearly everyone else is down. Uh, we're, obviously, we're two players off with uh, the injury and the surf. Uh, this could be worse. Uh, yeah, that's definitely worse. That is a blitzer injured. It's a blitzer dead. Not a good start for the humans. Uh, how do we rescue this? We might not be able to here. This might be one of those situations we can't do much about. Always the risk. Okay. Uh, Nothing much available to me there. We've got one blitzer stunned. Nope, that's a catch up. Where have we got a blitzer? Sorry, we have two blitzers dead. One blitzer pushed off. And that means you're the only blitzer we have. You get yourself a one dice blitz, <laughs> uh, which gets me a catch up back. Probably the way to go. And then we'll risk the dodge, which means I have to take these blocks. Can't risk anything else. That will do. And what do we do here? We either risk the 3 plus reroll, or we watch our catcher get surfed. I think we watch our catcher get surfed. Save the reroll. Okay, we'll get these two stuns back next turn. Yep, there we go, he's off. It was a fairly safe bet, and he's KO'd. We have the Apple, uh, the Apple, we have the Babe, so chances are we'll get Porky back. Uh, that's just a push. First time Dodger's viewed on its bit. Uh, he's obviously got the chance to get plenty of other blocks in. Though he's not got many players left to block. We are you know, down four players. That'll do it. Let's 
So you can go this way. Yep, that gives you two dice. You've got two dice there. You've used your blitz. But that's going to give me uh, no standing players. And still time for the Norse. Uh, that's probably a big mistake. Well, no, it's not a big mistake. He hasn't used everyone yet. Still got these three. The beast might not move. So we need to find out if the beast is going to move. Wild animals here. Nope. Closes off this gap. It's a shame that would have left us a little corner to sneak in. Sure, yep. Yeah. Uh, I don't think the judge, the strength too, is particularly hurting us here. It's just um, our inability to get our, to grips here with the Norse. Uh, can we get two dice anywhere? Not really. One, two, three, four. So you aren't going to be blitzing very far. Uh, you're a lineman uh, with a stud up there. One you can't get dodged through. Assist there, one dice. It means I could at least mark the ball. No standing player, so we only have our blitz to work with. We might try dodging out here with everyone. Which means I'm going to stand you up. I'm going to risk this as the blitz. And it works. I can't get tangled in that lot. It's far too uh, vicious in there. And that means let's get our catches out. Because uh, they've got dodge. Marvellous. That's one. Uh, you're stood up and you're as safe as you're going to get. Let's get you back. Uh, I'm still tempted. I'm going to put a catcher in there if he gets out. Okay, we used our big numbers on the non-dodge players. Good, and what about our thrower? Oof, we did it all. Everyone got out. So that makes up for some of the uh, rough beatings we've taken. Yep, that's, that'll work. And one, two, three, five, six. Needs a GFI to score this turn. Right, that's interesting choice. Uh, we might be able to level this at halftime. It's what this team is built around, the idea of scoring as quick as we possibly can. Though we are down two of our um, movement seven. But not a problem, we're going to use our thrower to fetch the ball. And we're going to try and push down one side with everyone else. So let's see what the setup's like if we've got a preferable side. Uh, he's got everyone left on the team, so it looks like pretty symmetrical. So we're going to go down. We tend to go down the left, so we're going to go down the left. Uh, got no real interest in tackling that little lot. I need you for the blitz. I need you for the assist. You're going to stand there. The other lineman is going to stand there. In case we have some... Uh, that's only two players on the line. That is indeed only two players on the line. So let's put another movement eight over there. Like that.
Uh, I could put a player in there instead, couldn't I? Yes, let's do that instead. Hopefully we don't get anything over here. In which case we're going to be a little bit um, outplayed. Uh, quick snap is good for us. Where's the ball? Not good for us. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two. Is it you over there? Because we're probably going to have to throw the ball. Uh, you can come back. You can come forward. And you can come forward. And we'll actually take that block. One, two, three, four, five, six. Might as well bring you guys forward as well. Because we haven't got a lot to work with. One, two, three, four, five, six. It would be a four plus pass. Might be better than that. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's a three plus pass. Uh, we're going to take this guy. Can't get him over there. It's a shame. Two, three, four. We need our blitz there. So I could have got this guy free. Is that the place to start? That's not really the place to start here. Ball is safe from the Norse this turn. If it goes wrong, we'll have to deal with it next turn. So that means who's going to fetch the ball? We have to take this to get these two catches back. That'll do. Put you in there and we'll follow it up. Pins that guy in place. One, two, three, four, five. Standing in there doesn't help me. One, two, three, four, five. I've got to move one of these guys to do the blitz. So this guy is available for something else. That means I'm going to put you in there. And we're going to have to go right round. And that'll do it. Okay, stun's good for us. you as far forward as you can get. Let's put you as far forward as you can get. We're going to get the ball to this catcher, keep him safe and then worry about everything else afterwards. This is you when we make all of these dice. Show hands gets the ball. Do we make our pass? Pass is good. Catch is good, so first point's on the board. You get to stand in there. Protects this if we fluff the catch. We do need catch, but we get there. One, two. Means I can put you in there. And I can get you in there. I think means pretty safe. Thrower is left on his own, but he's not doing anything now. And pretty good chance we might score here. And whilst we've taken a couple of casualties, I'm kind of okay with us being 1-1 one, one at half time. 1-2-3-4. Yeah, I don't think he can quite get round to hit the catcher, but one, two, three, four. No, he can, but he's got to throw some dice at it. Big dodges. Okay, it makes the four, doesn't make the five. How about that re-roll? Oh, <laughs> he does it. Uh, double pow. So basically, um, doesn't mind what the dice say. That is, um, yeah, let's just ju jump straight in with the five plus dodge. Uh, and the casually picks it up. Right, hmm. 
a bit of something for us to worry about now. Yeah. How do we... Well, we don't really make anything else of this. These guys are too far out to make any difference. Uh, wild animal there from the Yeti. So he's staying put. Um, okay. I mean, it happens. You do see random crazy dodges and they do work. It does mean we're not scoring on this catcher. Uh, if we get a chance to pick the ball up, is there a best player for doing it? Uh, okay, use the rear roll, so that just has to stay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Kind of need to blitz from that square. One, two, three, four, five, six. I can put you in there for an assist. You're not going to be doing anything else, so that's probably okay. Now then, who can reach? You can touch down with a reroll. So you're probably the guy for the touchdown, which means that's the blitz. And then uh, probably push you straight back on a knockdown. Because you're not going to make it. Nope, going to have to be you. Yeah, got to do it that way around. Oh, unless I make it with this guy. Uh, might be better to risk the GFI. Uh, got to use that to knock the ball clear. Okay, good start. Reroll gone. So it's either going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three plus dodge, three plus pick up. Or three plus pick up, two plus GFI. Oh, we fluff the pick up. That's the half. Let's try that again. So we are still down two. So it is nine, he only eleven, and the Norse are up one. Hmm. Okay, we've only got two block. We don't particularly want to push through and try and score in two turns, because then we do have to defend for uh, seven turns. Uh, that's not easy, given where we are. So let's try instead. The other part of this play is elfing about with the ball. So let's try that instead. Let's put a block in there. Let's put block in there. Uh, catch a thrower. Bring you two guys back. Let's put you in the centre. You two can mess about with the ball, and that's okay. It is the first match of the season. I'd like a win, but if we get a draw out of it and plenty of SPP, uh, that's okay too. Let's give it to the thrower. Okay, he even makes it with the disturbing presence. So what we are going to do is run backwards with the ball when we get chance. We're going to put you in there. And we're going to put you in there. We'll take two downs with block. Thank you very much. We are not going to follow that up. And we stun an ulf, that's good. We haven't got that to worry about next turn. And on this side, we knock over an ulf and he's fine. Okay, we can go up for a two dice block if we want to do. But I think here we are going to keep passing. 
where we will use the pass skill. We don't make it. So that is the end of the turn. Ball safe. Norse can't reach it. If he attempts to actually dive in on the ball, that's going to give us room to work with. And we might actually find there's a gap we can squeeze through without running too many risks. Uh, but the Norse are in the strong position of being 1-0 up uh, and players up. And if he does what he did in the first half and simply base us, then we are in a bit of bother because we just can't fight back. Um, both of our blitzers are back in base, so we can't get them out. Uh, there's disturbing presence to deal with if we try to pass into any of these guys. Uh, that's just a push. Will he roll it on the second attempt? No. But that does put disturbing presence on this catcher. Which is obviously not ideal. I've got one spare player. About these two currently marking off the ball. So we can either take some one dices. That's not one dice because of an assist there. That's one dice, but that doesn't really help. Uh, we can't make this safe now. So actually, I think I need to make that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Gets me out of the disturbing presence. Uh, I might need to risk the four plus catch here to get the ball moving. Do this, gets the catcher free. Or swallows the reroll. Does get the catcher free. We'll follow it up. And stand in there. Because that gives me two dice there. So, one, two, three, four. So I need to make this the handoff. So I can make that the pass. Take the push there, just to give the catcher a bit more room to work with. Okay, pickup's good. So we can get to there, and that's quite a long throw with an intercept. We can hand off there. Yeah, we, we make the hand off here. Four plus with a reroll. Uh, we make it on the reroll. Are we in the disturbing presence there? No, we're not. We are in the disturbing presence there, though. So the pass is good. Catch is good. Right, we can get the ball all the way over there. What's next is marking that guy. Reroll gone, so he's going to get himself two dice with block. Nothing we can do about it. Hopefully, he don't, doesn't roll um, both down or a pow, but always possible. So you've got it on the one point. Uh, you've got yourself one point as well. Uh, we will use dodge. And there's the pow. Our armor's doing okay so far. I know we've lost two, but that's all we've managed to lose. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So he's not going to be able to get himself three dice on this blitz. Pushes a go for it in there as well. So that swallows up the reroll. Not snakes, so it's fine. And the knockdown works. Doesn't break. One, two, three, four. Evening, Colin. 
Uh, no, I went for the four catcher build. Uh, it says, um, not going so well. Uh, I thought we would try it. It's um, tricky. We've come up against a um, risky Norse coach, shall we say. Uh, he's taken a couple of bold moves. Uh, they've worked, they have paid off. Um, and we are missing that bit of strength. And we're also just on the wrong side of block. But if we can get a touchdown here. Uh, well, risky, he just went straight in with a four plus five plus dodge for, for a blitz on the ball and it just worked up here. So we had two turns to level the score and we didn't. One, two, three, four, five GFI. So four plus dodge, four plus dodge. Three plus dodge, four plus, four plus, four plus, including the pickup, three plus, and a two plus. Not ideal. However, I'm not sure we have an ideal play here. You can block in there, that gives me a catcher back. I think I do that. Because that gives me you back. Or not. So we'll stay. Uh, you're going to have to stand up. Just to make this something like. Uh, I think I do not like my options. But my options are going to include... going for the ball. We are... We're going to risk this dodge. Hmm. Nope, so it wouldn't have mattered. We were not going to get that ball picked up. You know, the plan where it was just to mark up this guy, so we haven't got him to worry about, and then dive for the ball. Not going to happen. We're also not usually going to be able to recover it here. We're going to take some blocks in return. In fact, we are likely to lose all of our standing players here. Hmm. Okay. If we don't, then he's going to be a little bit short of players to screen this corner off. Uh, it happens. It's more uh, when I know this coach doesn't know any better. Which probably makes the difference. Uh, you and I might not have tried it. Hmm. Is he going to get everyone? You get to push there, which is actually going to push you back out of range here. Uh, don't really want to be that close to the sideline, but we can get out. So that leaves one dice in here. Uh, he's got two dice in there and a spare player. It does seem that way, and just um, he's just been lucky with the armour. Uh, we lost three blitzes in the first half. Okay, yeah, that works. We'll just stood in here. Um, yeah, but the ability to just stand in with the block and... We haven't thrown that many blocks, so his armor seven hasn't been an issue. We've just not been able to get the numbers. And that, okay, so that's going to leave me with one. 
you know, the capture's still up. So two standing players, uh, eight on the pitch. All right, eight, three out, yep. Okay, you can get up and um, simply come and stand in there. Can't dodge you out. Can't dodge you out. No real point dodging you out. To do that, maybe? Well, that swallows my blitz up. Probably safe to say we're not going to be blitzing the ball this turn. So I could have put you in there for the one dice. We're going to do this. Try and get you back. And then we just, I can dodge you out. I don't really want to stand you two up, but I think I've got to have to do. Might have been able to risk that dodge, but... Too risky for me. Do we get out? Yes, we do. One dice. Just a push. A push is enough. Uh, it means I can't dodge out there. I don't really want to follow this up, but we're going to. Which means I'm going to get surfed. This turn. I think I would rather have you come and stand over there. Do we make the first dodge? We do. We don't pop dodge, so I'm going to risk that one. Okay. I'm going to do double GFI, or maybe not. Uh, turn 12, is it worth a reroll? Probably is. Shouldn't have done two at once. Yep, definitely shouldn't have done two at once. Okay, so this guy is probably going to get pushed out this turn. Uh, you've got two dice there if you want to take them. And uh, that catches down, so the ball is free. And uh, this, I think, is getting a little out of hand. We are not going to have an easy time of recovering that ball now. These two are free. And he has used his blitz, so we might simply see a cage. Uh, no surf. And no injury there. Okay, he's used the blitz, so it will be a 4 plus to get the Yeti to move. But he does. Okay, you can now take two dice either onto the catcher or onto the lineman. Uh, right. Okay. Yep, yeah, that works because he can be down here. We can probably still catch him. Only just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But we can still catch him. That's not going to help. One, two, three. Uh, that's, that's one of the linemen, so he's okay. And you're going down as well. Right. Yeah, these guys not living up to their um, plan. Four plus three plus to get you out. You can't get out. You probably can't reach. So I don't want to take any more damage, so we're going to go for the three plus dodge. Put a guy in there. Okay, that was the dice we needed for the blitzer. So I think he's probably going to go down. Or not. <laughs> well, uh, I can't really complain. Those are the dice he needed. Uh, we will throw a reroll at that bit, though. We recover the ball. Well. We get the ball on the floor. Uh, just a stun, but that secures us for a turn. 
Uh, can't risk that GFI. Can't stand you up. Can risk standing you up. Top dodge. And we don't make it. Uh, yeah, this is not um, easy. I'm not sure we've played ourselves into a position. I think we've just had a bit of rotten luck. Uh, let's see if we can rescue... Was that the Blitz? I think that might have been the Blitz. Uh, yeah, hopefully we can um, recover this and make something of it. Um, if we simply get away with Generations Mess PP, that will do as well. Yeah, fine. If you're still around Colin, I think I'm playing the... I'm playing Ryan tomorrow. So one of us will face you in the Fumble final. Uh, probably Ryan. I don't fancy my chances against that Kemri team. Okay, we're down another one. Coach Nordland is out. That's uh, five out. Yeah, we're going to not have an easy chance to recover this little lot. Our play here is probably going to involve getting one of those guys out and throwing the ball. Which I can't do for the entire length of the pitch. So I can't pass it to you all the way over there. Take a one dice blitz there, I think, is the way to start this turn. Could have put you in there, that wouldn't have made any difference. Okay, if we fail this dodge, bad things will happen. You have to stand up. Can't risk standing you up. Six, I don't want to go through that yet is disturbing presence. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm passing over there. Here's what we're doing. We could easily fumble it here. Well, we might easily not pick it up without the re-rolls. Oh, no, definitely remember to pick the ball up on the way. Ooh, nope. We rolled the six just when we needed it. Well, just when we didn't need it. And the one when we needed the six. Uh, it's in a tackle zone, uh, but he's easily going to be able to shift that. And we've only got two turns left here, so not a lot of options. Ooh, that's going to draw out the re-roll and gets him a push. And a pow. Shame that would have been a good opportunity for us to um, make more progress with the ball. This one will be an interesting one to watch back on the recap, just to see if there was something we could have done differently. Brings this guy around, he gets himself three dice. No. Did he blitz with the Yeti? I'm not sure if he did. No, he blitzed with the Ulf. Okay, doesn't need to uh, score here. Just needs to stop us from scoring for the win. Um, looks like we are only... Ooh, okay. And that's the first Norse to go down. A bit late in the game to make much of a difference. Uh, but we catch the ball, that makes all the difference. 
Uh, we're going to have to go backwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then try and get it passed over there. Uh, you've got to stand up and be a man. Oh, six, seven, eight. Hopefully we make the dodge. We do make the dodge on the six that we probably need for this pass. It's a five plus pass. Five plus pass. Five plus pass. There's no point going for it. We might as well just throw the five plus pass. <laughs> we make the pass. Porky, you superstar. Uh, that is going to level this match for us. Um, wow, I wasn't expecting that. Uh, not only do we pick up a cheeky extra point on Porky, we're going to get ourselves three points on this chap here. Two turn North score. I like to think I've put you in there. That's pretty good. But I think also I should score here and then try and defend. I think I should score and defend on the two turn and hope for nothing more than the draw. Or hope not to get the loss. That didn't. Likely. Okay, so three out, uh, one permanently. I think the other two were just uh, badly hurts. Okay, so we're going to have to put... Have we got Lyman left? No. So what do we put on the line? Well, I think we... Uh, don't really want to be surfed, so we're going to put three in the centre. Have to put our blitzers in there. And that gives us four players in the backfield. To try and defend. One, two, three, four, five, six. on the rest of the half. So two turns for the Norse to get the touchdown here. 10 players to our seven. Yep, yeah, because we're gonna get all our Kales back. But yeah. Um, and uh, the Norse not even attempting it here. He I mean, could change his mind. But that setup tells me not looking at the ball. Purely looking to injure these three and come and do some damage down here. He's got a reroll to work with, so it wouldn't be unreasonable. And that would have easily been three dice as well. That there, Phil, you're out. Uh, MNG. Uh, this is going to be a rather rough looking human side come the next match. Okay, all the LOS go down. So let's see how he plays. If he doesn't handle the ball, we're just going to run backwards. Because we do not need to deal with uh, anything else here.
And that's going to put him one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, that gives him four potential scoring threats. Probably more. Which means we cannot um, deal with all of these guys. No way can we stop all of those guys from getting the ball. And centrally positioned there is very safe. He can throw next turn, depending on what I do, which is going to be, I have no idea. No idea how I get around this little lot. Well, I do, because we're going to blitz there, hopefully. And one, two, three, four. I can mark off two thirds of the pitch, uh, which I will lose a player, possibly. Now you can simply you can go one, two, three, four, five, six. Hand off to any one of these guys. Stopping this is I think going to come down to dice. One, two, three, four, five, six. I cannot mark up six players with four. What I'm going to have to do... ...is this. And we didn't make the dodge. Didn't expect to make that work. Uh, just a stun. About as good as we could hope for. So he's got to make here a, dodge, a block of some description. I could make the three dodge blitz. Which works. He only needs the push. He's then going to make a three plus handoff. And a two plus GFI to win this one. Reroll in hand, pretty good odds. Ooh, draws out the reroll. Gets himself the handoff, so it's just the GFI. And, oh, ooh, a one on the GFI gives us a draw we didn't really deserve. But a draw is a draw. We'll take it. Uh, we'll limp off the field with what we've got left, which is not a lot, I've got to be honest. That was brutal. Uh, one of our injured players gets the MVP. Where's the Yeti? Marvellous, the Yeti makes the MVP for the Norse. Uh, so I don't think we picked up much in the way of points. Uh, three passes, one touchdown, and a... MVP, I think that is MNG, and 9, so that's the Yeti levelled, because of two casualties plus the MVP, uh, he's touched down and two more casualties. How about those dice? We managed to roll pretty even dice, in fact pretty high when we look at the fives. On our block dice, we got good dice. Gotta be honest there, those aren't bad dice. Hey Tiki, that was um, brutal. I didn't exactly enjoy that one. Uh, well played. I just couldn't get going there. And yeah, big difference in the number of dice thrown there. You've got all the blocks. I just could not get to grips with anyone. But we survived. We picked up a draw we didn't deserve. And... We didn't get any left. So yeah, down to 780. So both of our linemen are MNG and our blitzer is dead. So yeah, we can't afford a blitzer, so we'll save the bank and um, hope to buy one next match. Uh, even if we kept the, yeah, if we kept the 10K we used on the babe, that wouldn't have worked. So rough but a draw so all in all not too bad there have been uh, three matches so far 
uh, two wins, two draws, and two losses. So middle of the table, sat there. Uh, right at the bottom of the team value, though, we're going to be. Oh no, we're going to pick up 100k of journeyman. So that'll put us. No, it'd be 150k of juice of journeyman. Three journeymen. So they're going on the line. Next time out, 